Prusa may have just developed the most accurate extrusion system we've encountered so far. Their innovative extruder boasts numerous features that could potentially enhance extrusion consistency. Prusa has just unveiled the latest MK4 edition of their popular original Prusa 3D printer. At first glance, it doesn't appear to be drastically different from its predecessors. Its design remains quite familiar to what we've grown accustomed to. Though I'm not a Prusa connoisseur, one aspect piqued my interest. Their new extruder. Let's rewind to last fall when I discussed my theory on filament walk and its influence on extrusion flow stability. The majority of today's direct drive extruders feature a machined groove with teeth designed to optimize contact surface with the filament. While this hopped groove does offer improved traction, it might also contribute to inconsistencies in the volume of plastic extruded. Suppose the filament shifts its position within the groove for various reasons. If it settles right in the center, the specified amount of plastic extruded will be determined by the smallest diameter of the hopped groove. Consider what occurs if the filament shifts slightly towards the outer edges of the groove. It moves away from the gear center, resulting in a larger effective pushing circumference. With the same requested extruder distance, we end up receiving a slightly larger volume of material. Prusa's extruder employs a gear with straight cut teeth. This means that even if the filament walks, the effective extruder gear diameter remains constant. But didn't we mention that the hub groove was designed to enhance traction? Indeed, straight cut gears provide less traction. So Prusa compensated by increasing the diameter of the extrusion gear. That larger gear necessitated a solution to maintain an optimal stepper motor speed without sacrificing precision. Prusa incorporated a 10 to 1 gear ratio planetary reduction gearbox, which keeps the stepper speed in the ideal range while delivering ample torque to smoothly push the filament. The larger gear not only offers improved traction, but also minimizes the impact of machining tolerances on extrusion variation in case of eccentricity. For a smaller gear extruder like the ones we use today, a radial runout of 76 microns translates to a 478 micron variation. This corresponds to a 7% variation over a complete rotation. Using a very rough estimate of 23 mm for the diameter of that new gear, the extruder will experience a similar increase in distance on its circumference. However, when comparing that increase in distance over a full rotation of the larger gear, it results in a smaller increase of just 2%. In other words, for the same amount of eccentricity or for the same machining tolerances, the impact in terms of extrusion variation for the larger gear is going to be much lower. Another enhancement is found in the extruder tension arm. Rather than incorporating an additional drive gear, Prusa utilizes not just one, but two flat idlers. By using those two pressure points against the extruder gear, it further increases the contact surface, ensuring better traction on the filament. Based on my earlier observations of the dual gear system, this could prove to be an excellent approach. My hypothesis regarding the dual gear system is that it creates two separate paths for force transmission. What do I mean by this? Well, let me pose a question. We've always assumed that the idler gear is driven by the set of spur gears on the shafts. But is this always truly the case? What if at certain points, depending on the position of the filament within the hopped grooves, the filament itself becomes the path for force transmission between the two gears? Could there be a constant exchange of roles between the filament and the spur gears? You drive. No, you drive. No, you drive. I said no, you drive. What impact would such an alternating scenario have on the nozzle pressure and the volume of filament extruded? With a system like Prusa's extruder using only one drive gear, this situation is effectively eliminated. 
I believe this creates an excellent mechanical combination and might yield exceptional extrusion stability. And as a result, outstanding print quality. I can't wait to be able to put my hands on one of these units to compare with other extruders on the market. Make sure to subscribe and click on that bell icon so you don't miss that out. Meanwhile, happy printing.